This one right here is Disciples Liberation. If you like to see what the gameplay, be sure to check it out. Taking a quick glance at some stuff here real quick. Sorry, I just like that. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, so we're, of course, going to go here real quick. We're going to turn some of the stuff off because, again, none of it really applies to me. Turn that off. Keep that checked. Turn that down just a pidge. Everything will look solid. All right. Let's get into that gameplay. Continue. Now, the interface is quite interesting. I'm going to turn up the volume just a bit for you. And we're going to be, of course, looking at the gameplay, which is kind of like Diablo a little bit. At least with the navigation here, which I kind of like this quite a bit. There's no camera movement. You can't move the camera. It's fixed in one spot, which is fine. You know, I don't mind that. Got our first set of enemies here we're going to be dealing with. Impure. His eye sees all. Fully, uh, pretty much voiceovered, so, or hopefully it fully is. Again, we're just starting the game, so it could all just be retext for all we know, or just pre rendered dialogues and all that. We have two characters here, which is, I'm gonna call her RV for short, and then we have Orin. So, again, both have their own stats and abilities. We'll be seeing that here right now. And of course, you can click edit here, so if you wish to have one, like, kind of hanging out right here. Or right here you could do so cool thing about this as well is you can also set up a bunch of characters here so you can see you can have a great set of units here set up your units you know for range combat uh, frontliners so like tanks and uh, folks of that nature save I'm gonna click X I'm gonna start the battle And again, I'm not too experty when it comes to these type of games. You know, I'm, I can play tactical games up to a point, but then it kind of goes over my head. That's past my pay grade, you see. Okay, so we're gonna stay right now about you there. See me. Feel my blades bite. But I'm stealthy. Move out. Kind of like heroes of might and magic. Okay. And so we will conclude our turn. Pressing the enemy. Holding the line. <laughs> Mounting an offensive. Well, we need to do a back attack, We're doing some extra down. or flanking damage. <laughs> okay, want our buddy here, super fly to kind of sneak me? up. Blank damage. Feel my blade Kind of clunky there. Didn't quite uh, do it like you should have. Moving. Okay. Have her do her commanding strike. You're done. Not quite as much damage. He gets. the line. Okay. On the offensive. <laughs> On three. I'll sneak past them. You mess with Abby, you mess with me. There you go, Holding he gets the line. Oh. Counterattack. There will be no surrender. Okay, she getting roughed up. I gotta make sure she can take care. No spells yet. She can take care and spike her hair. Okay, let's put her right Moving. there. Side flank. Feel my blades bite. Stealth. On the offensive. Die. Never do a regular attack there. Come on, 
Okay, she should be good. Yeah, she should be casting spells otherwise. Okay. Okay, now it's his turn. Feel the snake fight. Perfect. Game's really good so far. Like, I actually am liking this one. Like, just from even the first couple moments. Because the combat isn't too complicated. You know what I mean? It's simple, but it's actually enjoyable. Like, very enjoyable. And usually, tactical RPGs like this, I kind of get bored within, like, a couple hours. So, I, I give a game a, a chance wholeheartedly. You know, it's kind of like the... Um, I'm trying to think of the term for it. It was like the... It's sort of like the... Command and Conquer effect. Like you, whether you're gonna like it or you're not gonna like it. Majority of people usually like those games. Once they get really into them, that's it. That they're hooked. And a game like this, for me, it's like so far I'm just enjoying it because of how simple the combat is. But then it gets really complicated as well because you're playing a game of chess. Well, effectively. Clearly, aren't as safe as we thought they'd be. So much for sneaking in. We also have that. Can we save? Here is safe. I was worried it wasn't. No, I'd rather I was curious because this is also on consoles as well, like PS4 and Xbox One. Um, it's certainly a game. Again, it's like I could see this being insane, indict, addicting, just in general, and something I could just play and just relax to. Visually, it pleases me greatly. Like, it's just a great-looking game. Okay, that's a problem, I think. Okay, does it hurt them? Nope. Sneak attack. Oh, doesn't look like that's gonna happen. <laughs> I tried to do a sneak attack, but... Okay, we got an Arcanist. Magic caster. So I'm gonna have to take care of the magic caster immediately because they're gonna cause more most problems in the entire map. So I'm gonna have to get Mr. Stealthy over here to uh Yeah, definitely. You mess with Abby, you mess with me. You mess with the bull, you get the horns. Alright, so now you see me. I should have thought my strategy out better. Can I move the map? Okay, I'll move the cursor again. I, I couldn't remember because my brain was like, I don't remember if I could do something. But there. let's move. She's gonna get the full blunt of that mage. I can see it right now. All right, conclude turn. Glory and honor. Wear them down. Dark missiles. Okay, they're both kind of seasoning into her. Now you see me. Okay, I didn't quite click right. There you go. I'm just gonna press one. Perfect. Holding the line. Did I just? Oh my god! I hit the wrong button. I just hit control to skip my turn. <laughs> Meant to hit six. Uh... You're done. There we go. There, this is where the game gets really interesting. Now I get to go my turn. <laughs> I was trying to do that, trying to put some aggro on her. And <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't even looking clearly at the controls. Uh... Feel the snake bite. It's been a long day of sleeping, yeah. But you mess with Abby, you mess with me. You got two shots. You're mine. Flaring strike is really good ability, apparently, because it just does some good damage. Oh, it's B. Why is it B? That's weird. Seeing how the cool there's like a cooldown to it. 
I'm guessing one time per round or, so, or per fight? The offensive. <laughs> they didn't quite explain that part yet, so I'm curious. I'll sneak past them. Feel the snake bite. Die. <laughs> Alien forever. She's pretty awesome looking, though. I love her outfit. She has like that masculine style to her, but then she like has this badass armor all the way through. Like a really strong, you know, feminine character, and I love that so far. Like, you know what I mean? People are like, oh, he's, he's a feminist. It's like, no, no, don't get me wrong. Don't get me twisted here. I'm saying that this character looks incredibly cool. Usually, for me in games sometimes, yes, I get it. There's, you know, TNA all day, whatever. But for me in a game, I want to look at a character and be like, that person is attractive, but at the same time, it's they dress respectably. So, you know what I mean? It's like... You give me a game full of TNA, it's like I, I kind of get over it over a while. It's like, uh, you know, this bikini isn't quite protecting them that much. Unless they're made out of stone or something like that, or some sort of solid oak or whatever. I, I don't see that bikinis protecting them anytime soon. But I digress. Got some treasure. Leather boots. I wasn't system, wasn't map, wasn't that character. Okay. Apparently had gear already. Oh, this might be the Okay, now I see. Okay, this is probably some of the exclusive uh, bonus items here for. Is she the only one who gets anything? Okay. I'm not complaining, I'm just curious. Skill tree here, okay. So, quite a hefty uh, skill tree. Five points available. Naturally. All right, so. Can I right click? So I want to see what the hell these abilities do. Or be able to kind of look at. Okay, we'll add that, obviously, because she's a tank. Initiative mastery. Fuck yeah, man. That part of my French there. Um. Do, okay, so I'm just going to make sense of it. If I'm wrong, then developers or whoever else can correct me. I don't care. But, um... See, all these abilities are so good. Like, I'm reading some of these here. Like, a nimble? Like, if somebody hits her, she has a 20% chance of dodging the next incoming attack. And I'm assuming that goes up to, like, uh, maybe 60% or something? Or 50 total or whatever? I'm not sure how they're going to scale that, but it's like, if it's 60%, that's fucking broken. You know, that's actually a pretty OP um, thing to have. Alright, so looks like gain access to Divine Tier 2 spells. Primal Essence, gain access to Primal Essence. So like fire, and it looks like fire and ice there. Um, primal Energies. A spell sword would be kind of cool, but I don't... You know, I mean, if I'm building her like a tank, I might as well just keep going with the tank thing, right? So, let's go with that. Because we're trying to keep her in this whole... The power and resistance have all increased by units who are standing beside at least one other friendly unit in the battlefield. One more point available. Okay, we'll add that. Confirm. Passive leadership companions get one plus one to morale. Um, okay, plus two for that, and plus two for that. Okay, so it also scares or scares ah scales those. I'm loving that quite a bit. Uh, doesn't look like we have access to many. Oh, we do have access to this though. 
Okay, that is a defensive spell, as we can already see. Um, please give me that pretty soon. <laughs> okay, so we need blueprints for that. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. A lot of awesome little quality of life improvements here as well, because apparently they did some updates here recently, too. And I'm loving this game quite a bit. Like, it's based off the original series, but it's done so well. And I like how they're actually starting to go back to the drawing board and giving us more sequels to these games we grew up and loved, or uh, just in general. Okay, we already opened that. Press F5 to save? Yep. Might put play this on stream afterwards, too. Like, I might actually make a play series of this, because I'm actually enjoying this one quite a bit. So I'm going to save one more time, because I'm overcautious. But anyway, if you enjoyed the gameplay for Disciples, be sure to check it out. Take it easy, and I'll see you all next time.